All right, welcome back. Continuing with the uh, hockey talk, you know the Rangers and the Devils have really improved themselves. The Rangers made a trade, gave up 20th pick, and they got Jacob Truba. Then they added uh, one of the best players in the draft in Capo Caco, who's going to play this year. They've gone through a rebuild, and they got some good pieces. And then you see Ray Shiro busy at work, brings in Jack Hughes, number one overall, makes a trade for P.K. Subban. They already have Taylor Hall, Nico Heeshear. Uh, as well as other talented players. So, Jason, uh, it's not going to be easy for the Penguins. All these teams in that division are going to be better, I think, with maybe the exception of the Flyers. No, they, it, the points have to come from somewhere. And I would also throw out the Columbus Blue Jackets for a team that may not be better than they were last year. But, I mean, you can't look at this and say that the Penguins are head and shoulders above anybody. I mean, even Washington, they bring Carl Hagelin back. He was an important piece of their team. And now the Capitals somehow employ Radko Gudis and Tom Wilson on the same team, which is semi-hilarious, but it's also going to be a pain in the butt for every Metro team out there. I'm not buying the Flyers. I don't totally see what they're doing with Kevin Hayes, but regardless, it's not going to be easy for the Penguins. Carolina Hurricanes, another team you have to yes, take Yes, exactly. They helped themselves, too. This, I mean, isn't this the cost of winning championships, right? you got to pay the guys that helped you win those championships, and that gives you less money to spend in and fill in the cracks. And then when you take shots at guys like the Penguins have done and, and swung and missed with some guys, Riley Shane, for example, the last couple of years, this is sort of what happens, right? Guys get, they don't get, the Penguins aren't getting any younger. They're not going to get any quicker. Doesn't mean they're not still supremely talented at the very top level. But what have we talked about? Jason says the points need to come from somewhere. The points with the Penguins need to come also from maybe some of the, the bottom six every once in a while. And it needs to come from the blue line every once in a while. That's, that's part of the problem with this club is that they, as Kaboli pointed out, 40% of the, the cap is tied up to guys that are real. I mean, they're all they're Hall of Fame players, potentially, two of them definitely. But the problem is, I mean, that doesn't give you a lot of money to spend. And when it doesn't, when you take shots at guys, Jack Johnson, whatever, it doesn't work out. You know, other teams take different chances, and the gap closes considerably. Yeah, you know, the Jack Johnson and the Hornquist ones are look really terrible. You could use that money right now, especially how that uh, salary cap is. I mean, the type of contracts you want is Gensel type contract. But as for the division, I, I love what the Devils are doing. I mean, you got. Sue Ban, who is, you know, early 30s, but he's still, you know, he, he's, he's a proven winner, and he's a guy that is a leader, and, and I love Hughes as well. So, I mean, I don't think it's, put it this way, by the time the Penguins start really getting bad, which might be in a couple of years, I think the Devils are going to be really, really good. All right, real quick, I only have about a minute here for this question to make it quick. Give me a name, not name, Kessel, Malkin, uh, Latang, who the Penguins could trade and get value because my pick will would be Brian Rust. I think he's a young player who still can do a lot of things and people would like him. He'd get at least something. Who else would you pick? Would you pick him as, as a candidate uh, I mean, to be traded? I, well, not as a guy that I like to talk to in the in the room. I mean, I, he's always available and has a pretty good mind. So I but I don't know. What about I mean, what about Good Branson? I mean, I know they, they flipped him and he was the worst defenseman in the history of hockey. And then he gets here and he's oh, pretty good. The problem is they need him back there, right? But, I mean, you're talking about yeah. guys that are tradable assets. It's a guy who's semi the last two months probably played maybe some of the best hockey of his career, and maybe th that rehab is enough to get something in a trade because you're not going to get anything for Jack Johnson or some of the other guys that actually make a lot of money that you're not going to be able to move. The guy I would look at would be Nick Bukestad. I don't like trading him either for sort of the reason that Will mentioned with Brian Rust, a really great guy. I think he did, did some great things when he came in here, but he would have value to other teams. His cap hit is in the $4 million range. He can play wing. He can play center. I think he still has some potential there. Has a 20-goal season on his resume. I could see them moving him, and they're also insulated against losing him. They have some guys who can step up and play that role. I don't think Tristan Jari is going to really help much in the oh, way of money. Oh, come on, Mark. That's a way of money, right? But – Maybe oh. you get something for him. I, I mean, you look up and down this roster, and I don't think there's too many people are going to, like we said before, you know, ringing GMJR's phone saying, hey, I want this guy, this guy, and it's the top for it. But, you know, those bottom guys, are, for one reason or another, I don't think they want him either. I, I think a lateral move, just ridding themselves of some guy like Jack Johnson might be a, a positive. Oh, that might be a buyout or whatever, but hey, hey, Nick Bukestad would be worth $7 million a year if you're the Flyers. <laughs> 20, one 20 goal <laughs> season. That's all you need to get money from them. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to talk about can two cities be the home for one team in Major League Baseball? That's next. Don't go away.